Welcome back everyone to Life and Fork. On today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a cauliflower crust for a pizza. Something that's gluten-free, something that's healthy, especially right now around this time when football is about to start, why not, right? So stay tuned. I'm gonna be showing you how to make my cauliflower crust for pizza. The ingredients we're gonna need is one head of cauliflower, one cup mozzarella, half cup Parmesan, again grated, shredded, a little bit of kosher salt, fresh ground black pepper, a little bit of dried basil, two eggs. First step we're gonna do is break down our cauliflower. Take a knife, split it right down the middle. Now, take out the stalk. This is a little bit of a woody part, so you wanna make sure you remove that nice stalky piece. That way, uh, it's easier to cook and the cauliflower will be more tender. So you remove that, set that aside, get rid of all the leaves and all that stuff. You don't need that. You could always use that for your garden or for anything else you got going on. But now that the cauliflower is broken down like this, all you're gonna do is cut them into smaller pieces so you can speed up the cook time. We're gonna boil the cauliflower in water. So the water has already been boiling behind me on the stove. So it's ready to go. You can make sure that you always set yourself up so you can finish a lot faster by doing stuff like that, having your steps done. I already also have the oven set at 350, ready to go. That way when it's all said and done, I can just throw it in and it sets it up. So those are some tips you always wanna do is always stay ahead of whatever you're working on. So like right now, you know, you can see you're taking your time, making sure you got all your cuts nice and that's it. So now at this point, we're gonna take it, put it in a colander, and then start boiling it in some hot water. You're gonna take your colander and just throw it all in. Now we're gonna move over to the water. Here we're gonna boil the cauliflower for about 20 minutes until perfectly soft. To always check it, it's easy. All you gotta do is take a fork, smash it. It should almost come out like mashed potatoes. So just let it cook out for a little bit, play your favorite music, clean up, clean your dishes, do whatever you have to do. It's gonna be 20 more minutes and then we're gonna go to the next step. So like I said, just enjoy it. Oh yeah, at this point, it's already been about 30 minutes. The cauliflower is nice and soft. The way I can tell is by using a fork, mashing it, it's ready to go. The next step is gonna be to take it off the fire and then move it into the sink and let it strain in the strainer so it gets nice and dry. I'm not gonna use paper towels or anything like that because I don't wanna get rid of all the moisture. You can see how beautiful that cauliflower looks. You know, it's nice. I wanted it a little bit of crunchy. Some people overcook it, so it becomes almost like a straight mashed potato, but I like a little bit of texture. I still like it to have a little bit of chunks in there. So we're gonna let this chill off for a little bit before we go into the next project. Because from here, we're gonna take it and mix it up and actually make the batter for the pizza crust. So it has to be nicely chilled because we're gonna add raw eggs to it. And if we add raw eggs to something that's hot, you're gonna make scrambled eggs. So over here, what we're gonna do is get our Vitamix ready. If you don't have a Vitamix at home, you can use anything 
that you have. A food processor would work for this. The most important part, like I said, is make sure the cauliflower has been chilled before we go into this procedure. Because as you can see, we're going to add some cheeses to it and some raw eggs. So if it's still really hot, all it's going to do is melt everything and it's going to make a big mess. So just make sure you chill it off, let it strain, get it nice and ready. And we're going to move on to the next step with our Vitamix right here and get ready to blend it all together. The next thing is also a quick tip is to have your oven already set at 350, ready to go. Have a sheet pan and a little bit of parchment paper. I didn't have any, so I had to run to Walmart and get some because you're going to have to line your pan so the cauliflower crust doesn't stick to it. All right, now we're going to take our cauliflower and throw it in our Vitamix. Use a spoon, wooden spoon would help. Anything that, you know, or a spatula, rubber spatula would be good too, I guess. Next, we're gonna add our shredded Parmesan cheese. I use Parmesan just because of the, the, the saltiness and everything like that. And then a little bit of mozzarella. I would say about two dashes of basil. Be careful not to spill like I just did. A little black pepper, ground, fresh, if you can, if not. Ready, ground pepper is fine. Two pinches of salt. Two whole eggs. They don't have to be brown eggs. I know everyone's into it right now, but I mean, if you want, you can. Of course, it'll be a little bit better. More vitamins. Snap your lid on. For this, you are gonna need the attachment. This becomes a little bit fun. We're gonna start on speed one and just push down. And that's it. All you want that smooth texture Next step is to grab our parchment paper and put it on top of our sheet pan. I just got a normal stainless steel half pan. I just went to Walmart to get this parchment paper, so you can go there too. We're gonna take a little bit of pan spray and spray our pan. This is gonna help maintain the paper to the pan so you don't have to worry about it moving around on you a lot. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it just has to be just like this. Next, we're gonna take our cauliflower crust that we just made and try to make a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we're trying to get the circle so it looks like the pizza crust. If not, you can go uh, whatever you wanna call that, rectangle, you can do flatbreads, but for this one, we're gonna to try to go round. So the easiest way that I know is to pour it all into the middle using a rubber spatula to get every bit of it out you can see how much comes out I mean it's not very little now that you have it out take your spatula and just try to make a circle you can go thin or deep I like my crust a little bit thicker. I like uh, deep dish pizzas or hand toss. So I'm gonna try to leave it, I would say a pinky thick, if that makes any sense. I don't know if there's a precise measurement for that, but I like how a pinky sounds. So again, just making it nice and round, taking my time. Here, you can use your finger, which is, again, the best part of cooking, right? When you can use your hands. And it's always good to try how the crust is. It's good. It's sweet. It has a little bit of taste. A quick tip. What you can do is, once this crust is uh, done cooking and golden brown, you can actually rub a little bit of honey on top if you want it a little bit sweeter. If you want savory, just leave it the way it is. It's perfect the way it is. Now we're going to throw this in the oven for about 30 minutes. Well, it's been 30 minutes. Hopefully you didn't fall asleep. Uh, sometimes these recipes take a bit of time, so make sure that you have the time, you know. And like I said, it's awesome because you have a little bit of free time to clean up. 
make the wife happy, make the girlfriend happy, whatever you gotta do. So now we gotta pull it out the oven. There you have it, cauliflower crust. So you can see it's pretty simple. I mean, there's really nothing to it. It's nice. I pulled it out a little bit under because I know it's gonna keep on cooking and that's what I want it to do is to keep on cooking. So I'm gonna do that. Now, you might wonder what you can do with this. Now that you have the cauliflower crust, what you can do is make a pizza easily, right? You can add uh, white sauce, red sauce, whatever your flavor is, a little bit of cheese, some meats, whatever. I mean, I'm gonna using this one for tonight. We have a Bears versus Packers game here in Chicago. So this is gonna be our entree. Me and my girlfriend right now, we're watching our carbs and everything, trying to stay really healthy. So this is a good option for us for tonight. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you like the format I shot it in and the way I did the audio is a little bit different than my other videos. Let me know down below if you like this style versus the other style. I know a lot of people are doing voiceovers, but I wanna see if I can do it this way, which is kind of more of the way I cook anyway. So until next week, love you guys. As always, hit subscribe, leave any comments down below, any suggestions as always, give me some ideas. I mean, that's the fun part. Give me ideas of places you've been to, things you've seen that you wonder how they make it. You know, maybe I can duplicate it, maybe I can't, but let's give it a try. Love you guys, until next time, bye.